Hey everybody, do this quick unboxing of this Ryzen 5 laptop by Acer. My HP Envy died just a few days ago. Uh, hi everybody, do this quick unboxing of this Ryzen 5 laptop by Acer. My HP Envy just died a few weeks ago, a few days after its warranty did expire, so I had a good reason or excuse to pick this up. I always had good experiences with Acer laptops, at least in the Ryzen era. They offer BIOS updates frequently that oftentimes also improve performance. And yeah, so there we go. let's have a look. Whoops. The laptop is not really slim, but that's not a problem. For me, that's even a good point because from the build, it means that it has plenty of air to breathe, to cool, and you can see it has a pretty fat heat pipe, when, especially compared to what I've seen in HP's Ryzen lineup. And um, it has a 1080p, non-glare screen which for me was important because I code and uh, just a glare screen just tires your eyes a lot um, maybe you can see that it has no Vega sticker that's because it has a dedicated GPU a Radeon 535 with 2 gigs of VRAM and uh, I can already hear people saying, hey, but why, it doesn't make sense, this G D GPU is probably much slower than Vega 8. Um, that's not really true because, as you know, um, Ryzen has a TDP budget and it means that under load you ha can have either high CPU performance or high GPU performance on the SOC, especially in this limited form factor and when you have a DGPU it means that the CPU part of this Ryzen SOC can just flex its muscles and go um, yeah <laughs> go full power or whatever you want to call it if the cooling is adequate and uh, another good point is uh, drivers as you know, uh, the story of Raven Ridge drivers in the mobile sector is a pretty sad one. Um, in a few weeks or maybe days, I don't know, we will have uh, AMD announced they will uh, offer drivers. So this sad chapter will come to an end. But for the last year, to have a DGPU was a good thing because you were always able to download the latest drivers for your laptop and you had much less problems yeah so that's it and uh, see you next time